Greetings Builders, Daniel here and welcome to another top 3 video where every week I choose a topic and show you my 3 favorite builds of it. Today's theme is the super fast builds and if you wanna try any of those you can find the links for POBs and complete guides in the video description. And if this video helps you please leave a thumbs up to support the channel. Thank you very much and let's get into it! Let's start with the amazing Inferno Flicker Strike Ascendant with the Scion class. This build uses the unique sword Auto Sacrifice to sustain the frenzy charges needed for you to keep flickering, but that's not any Auto's flicker build, this one also chills and shocks enemies for a lot more damage, career speed and survivability. To list the pros of this build, I would of course start with its clear speed. Flicker is just incredibly fast and super cool to play. This build also counts with an amazing boss damage and high survivability. Now, to list the cons, the first thing that comes to my mind is that you are always very close to enemies, which is a vulnerable position. Another issue is that you have a little control over your character, making it hard on bosses where you need to mind your position or attack the right enemy. As for budget, you can get it destroying early end game maps with only around 90 chaos. To comfort for events to yellow maps, you need to invest around 150 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 4 divines. Don't forget that on poebuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipment that you need to buy for this build, with direct links for examples being sold by other players. We need two mandatory unique items for this build. The first and most important is the Auto Sacrifice Sword that allows you to maintain your frenzy charges always up even while flickering. Next we also need the Call of the Void Ring that causes your attacks to chill and shatter enemies. This ring might be a little expensive during the first days of a new league, but don't worry, you'll be fine without it while waiting for the prices to drop. For clear speed this build is surely a 10 out of 10. As any other flicker build, this one is also insanely fast, so fast that some players can even play without getting nauseous. The boss damage is great and deserves 9 out of 10. This build achieves high amounts of DPS capable of decimating even the big bosses in just seconds. Now for the survivability I'd only give it 8 out of 10, even though this build still has almost 100,000 effects of HP because of high armor evasion and spell suppression, I had to take 2 points out because they're always very close to enemies. Next we have a build so fast that it's hard to follow with your eyes, the Flicker Strike Slayer with the Duelist class. This build uses Terminus S to sustain the frenzy charges needed for you to keep flickering. It's a great and simple flicker strike build for beginners. To reach the pros of this build I would have to start with its clear speed. Look at that, this is just insanely fast. It also counts with an awesome boss damage and instant life reach. And of course, flicker builds are just super cool. Now to reach the cons I would start with the fact that you are always very close to enemies, which puts you in a vulnerable position. Another issue is that you have little control over your character, making it hard on bosses where you need to mind your position or attack the right enemy. As for budget, you can get it destroying early end game maps with only around 80 chaos. To comfortable advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 120 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 4 divines. You need only one mandatory unique item for this build, the Terminus S Sword that keeps your frenzy charges up even while flickering. For clear speed this build is surely a 10 out of 10, and I don't even need to say anything, just take a look at the gameplay and you have to agree with me. The boss damage is great and deserves 9 out of 10, this build can easily deal many millions of damage per second, it's just great to kill big bosses like that. Now for the survival build I'd only give it 8 out of 10, even though this build still has almost 100,000 effective HP because of high armor, evasion and spell suppression. I had to take 2 points out for the same reason as I did with the Cyclone Slayer. Since you are always very close to enemies, you are always in a vulnerable position. Finally in first place, here's the super strong, fast and satisfying Lightning Strike Trickster with the Shadow class. Lightning Strike is an awesome skill that used to be on top of the meta, but went down after a couple of nerfs. Now with the recent buffs, it's back to the top and with more power than ever. To reach the pros of this build I would start with this clear speed. Besides a strong melee hit, lightning strike also creates many lightning projectiles that run on the floor killing every enemy on its path. 
Besides that, this build also counts with the Trickster Ascendants to be super fast and tanky. It has 7 frames charges for extra damage and speed and a lot of defensive layers. Now to list the cons, the first thing that comes to mind is that this build needs a good elemental call to work properly, but don't worry, it's easy to buy one from other players. As for budget, this build is not expensive at all. You can get it destroying early in game maps with only around 80 chaos. To comfortably advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 150 chaos, and for easily completing Rattlers, I recommend investing around 4 divines. For clear speed, I'll give this one 10 out of 10. As mentioned before, you have 7 frames charges and a huge effect of elusive that grants this build a lot of movement speed. Besides that, Lightning Strike creates many projectiles that run on the floor, exploding many enemies that aren't even close to you yet. The boss damage is also amazing, deserves 9 out of 10. Lightning Strike just received a big damage buff, and this build is an awesome boss killer. For the survivability, I'll give it 9 out of 10. This build has over 100,000 effective HP because of high armor, evasion, spell suppression, fortify, and even a trickster buff that causes you to take 40% less damage. Above all, you are immune to freeze and stuns. And that's it for today guys, what did you think about those super fast builds? Please take a second to tell me in the comments and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. I wish you guys an amazing day, and don't forget to keep building!